What's up? I'm just here, uh, drawing my favorite Harry Potter character, Voldemort. He- he's watering a plant. Don't ask me why. <laughs> uh, you know, I was in an Animal Crossing mood, and I was like, I should draw something Animal Crossing related, and then it turned into... Uh, fucking Space Voldemort here. Watering his plants. You know, when you gotta, like, you gotta fucking fight the Avengers, but, like, he's gotta water his plants first, you know? It's, it's important. This guy's really hard to draw. He, he looks frustrated. I need to, like, fix that. Why is this guy so hard to draw? What's that about his face? Maybe the fact he doesn't have a fucking nose and his, like, face has a- his skull has a weird shape. Let me tell you something- let me tell y'all something. Um, some people wanna- wanna fucking shag this guy. And I'm just saying, if you're one of those people, you're on thin ice. I got my eye on you. You know? I, I could say a lot, but you know, I don't kink shame comrades. But a little bit. I'm kink shaming you right now, but there's more to life than just kink shaming your comrades. Kink shaming strangers. It's late as fuck, dog. Damn. It's like, well, almost 1 a.m. Well, I usually go to bed at like, I don't know, like 2, 2 in the morning. I think I can finish that. In time. I think I can finish this. In time. Uh, you guys probably saw. Uh, if you are like me, you probably you, you probably saw all the fucking my immortal jokes that that were just that were just inevitable with this character. If this guy's name is Ebony, so you could probably already see just the plethora of fucking misspellings of this poor man's name. Every misspelling of the name Ebony under the sun. Uh, you know, I think- I think we're gonna redo My Immortal. You know, I, I've got- by now I've gone and privated all my, like, really old shit. Well, not really old, it was like fucking October. But, you know, I've- I've gone and privated all of that, you know, that- that's- that is, uh, Shinduru. But, I might do, like, a return of My Immortal. I might have a friend do it with me this time. But just this dude, it just his name has got me thinking about, uh, <sighs> fucking My Immortal. Doesn't help that he looks like Voldemort either. What are you, a basic bitch wearing all that fucking jewelry? You don't need all of that. Ibondi is a skinny boy. I, I probably shouldn't be making his arms so thick. Ibondi. <laughs> uh, but what, what, what was it? There was, there was an a, Anabi is my favorite, of course. Ibori, Inani, Igagi. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm glad I don't know anyone named Ebony in real life, because they wouldn't hear the end of it for me. <laughs> I hate Tara. <laughs> I hate her so- I hate the fucking author so much. Then again, without her, uh, this wonderful story would have never been conceived. It's funny how I'm talking about some stupid-ass fanfic more than I'm talking about the media that this character is actually fucking from. And I, I bet I've already scared away, like, half my fucking audience. They heard My Immortal and they're like, oh shit. Oh, I'm sitting here listening to like a uh, Animal Crossing music compilation and fall asleep to the shit. I love Animal Crossing. Maybe I'll do like a you know, like a just chill ass playthrough of like Wild World or something. I love Wild I love Animal Crossing. My fucking brother my my brothers, um when I was younger. Even these cousins I've never fucking I saw one time were like, ew, you like Animal Crossing? You're a faggot. But, um that one Tumblrina chick that came to my blog and started bitching me out about drawing titties. Um, that's died down now, but you know, I, I'm probably still gonna like- She sent me a lot more shit after that initial video. There's my sugar gliders. Probably fighting over who gets to lay where inside their pouch thingy. Jesus. Oh yeah, I was talking about the Tumblrina bitch, um... Yeah, she had a lot of shit to say after that first video, like, she just wouldn't- Well, I thought she was done, she wouldn't fucking stop for, like, a week. Uh, you know, she- it's been weeks now, she, she's over it, um... It was just insane how many people came and told her that she was in the wrong, which- which warmed my heart, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to know that- not even her followers or whoever were like going for a shit. Cause she got zero support. Like, you know, she was like, report this person, ew woo. And, but you know, nobody, nobody listened to her, thank God. But yeah, you know, she was talking about, oh, I'm not going back to my old ways. Well, bitch, I shudder to think what your fucking old ways were like. 
You know, was was you just because you know this per you know I'll talk about this more when I do make this second part. But what this bitch was doing is I can imagine in the past that she's preyed upon these smaller artists, these these artists that don't have very big followings that don't have many people that are gonna back them up, which she was fucking wrong. She was wrong. There's plenty of people that came to back me up. You know, and just basically tries to manipulate them to conforming to what she wants them to do. You know, using intimidation tactics such as, like, bringing up how, oh, no one likes your stuff, you need to do what I say. You have potential, but you're not listening to me. You know, she she brought up the fucking fact that, like, oh my god, you have art that has literally no notes. Ah, ah, clap emoji, laugh emoji. And it's like, well, bitch, I don't really care for the most part and you're wrong i i the stuff that doesn't have notes really is my really old stuff you know i, I may not have a hundred fucking followers yet like i, I mean, i'm just barely getting to a hundred but you know it's just disgusting it's so it's honestly disturbing knowing that somebody there is somebody that will go to these lengths to like harass the shit i make somebody feel this fucking Try to make someone feel so fucking horrible. She didn't really make me feel bad, but it was just annoying and frustrating to deal with her. But try, you know, attempting to make somebody, like, feel bad about, you know, what they do and, like, the fact, oh, they have no fans, you don't have no fans. Just, just to get them to conform to what you want them to do, what you want. Listen, you don't have to like my stuff. You know, I just, I just ask you, leave me alone and let me do what I want, you know? I've seen some god-awful fucking depictions of characters. Disgusting depictions of fucking characters. You know, all tumbled out. And you know, you know, when I go into character tags and I see this, I just block the blog so it doesn't pop up again. And I don't barge into their fucking blog and tell them what they can and can't do. That's just not fucking right. You know, I don't give a shit who you think you are. I don't think it's right to just, you know, just waltz right into somebody's, like, blog, you know, their, their area where they can post what they want and just tell them what they can't do, you know? Like, legitimate criticism is one thing, but then, you know, telling me, oh, you can't do this, this offends me, that's dumb. You know what? I don't know what it is with Tumblr people, especially, being just complete fucking gatekeepers with, with everything. With fucking everything. And just act- just generally acting like they ain't got no fucking life. God, it's just- it's- it's so irritating, like... Oh, my mouth is dry. I ain't got nothing up here to drink. Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. Oh, that's good. That fucking sparkling water shit. The loud ass truck at fucking one in the morning. God damn, I hate that shit. Sometimes in the butt fuck dead of night, just a loud ass truck will just come fucking careening by wake up everyone in the house. It's honestly bullshit. You know, we live right by a fucking major highway. You know, literally, our house is right across from the dam. And this is the only way to get to the dam. <clears throat> they do tours of the dam sometimes, which is cool as hell. I, I need to- I need to go to one of those. But I just remember- just, just listening to, like, this Animal Crossing music, I, I just remember... All the fucking days, like, in, like, what is it, fifth grade, maybe, that I just, like, just sit around, you know, during the summer playing Animal Crossing, and, and you know, my grandpa, he'd wake up, and he'd be like, damn, you still playing that? And I'm like, yeah. And that'd be just not a character that's meant to be thick. Ever. Don't let anyone fool you. He's a beautiful man. Actually, no, he's fucking not. <laughs> he's so disturbing. <laughs> he's so disgusting. <laughs> He's so horrifying. He's so scary looking. You know, I just want you guys to like sit down and know that they, that bitches bitches are tripping for this dude. Like <laughs> I don't know why. I don't fucking know why. <laughs> He's not good looking. He's not like Mass Effect where like the aliens were sexy. He's really scary looking. But you know, but y'all motherfuckers Wanna smash? Well, I should probably stop talking about Animal Crossing and Tumblr, uh, and I should start talking about something that's actually fucking relevant to what I'm doodling. Um, so, uh, 
I'm trying in my head. I'm just trying to think of what name I want to use for this dude. <laughs> Let's go with Ibori. Uh, Ibori this time. Uh, but um, Ibori. He he he's cool as fuck. Uh, it's been like fucking weeks and weeks now. Like, <laughs> not weeks and weeks. It's been like I don't know, maybe a month since um Infinity War has been out. Uh, I shouldn't even have to give a fucking spoiler warning at this point. I'm pretty sure everyone that's wanting to see it has already seen it. Uh, but I thought Ibondi was cool. You know, he he he. I I really hope. I was really hoping that like all of um Thanos's followers. They'd stay until the end, and then they'd all be like, "Oh shit!" When they <laughs> when some of them started dying, you know, they'd be like, "Oh, I think we fucked up." You know, I, I don't think we should have done this. And then they roll with the Avengers. That would have been a fucking great plot twist. The only one that I could see like ever even having a chance at like coming back around would be uh would be Anabi here, cause like he froze. He didn't- he didn't, like, get ripped apart or explode like the other ones. He just- he froze. And... You know, if he- if he's any- he- he looks pretty- he looks pretty reptilian, pretty fish-like. And, you know, if that's true, then I could see, like, him freezing wouldn't particularly kill him. You know? Maybe- maybe someone finds it? Maybe, like... <laughs> I don't know. He's the only one I could see that has a chance of, like, returning and causing shit to go down. Maybe he would, like, team up with them. I don't know. Since, since like, everyone's dead now, Thanos killed everybody. That would be interesting. Or maybe he'd go against them and be like, fuck you, you're all dead to me. Literally. Actually. <laughs> uh. Looks pretty disappointing. He looks really upset. I should fix that. And it's oh that, oh that arm. Yeah, it's it's long. It's not too long technically. It looks it's too skinny is the problem. But that's just who he is, a skinny motherfucker. He's lanky. So I guess I can't blame him too much. Well, blame myself. I mean, I I can't physically blame a character for how I drew him. I almost gave him four fingers. That'd have been great. This one post I saw where it was like, um, it was like, her, my hands look like this, so hers could look like that, and like, it was like, this girl d with, with an exceptionally shitty manicure, and you know, one of the captions was just like, bro, we're Carter. <laughs> and then, and then, something everybody completely overlooked is this bitch had. <laughs> Fucking only four fingers. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but still. <laughs> oh, that poor woman. I like how his hand looks, but I don't like how his arm is positioned. Maybe that's why everybody wants to tap that. Did, did he have rings on his thumbs? We're just gonna go with yes. We're gonna say he did. So I'm not fucking looking it up. I don't particularly like looking at this dude. I like the alienish monster look that he has, but like... If I had the choice to not look at him, that'd be... That'd be pretty nice. Uh, that's a pretty fucking big flower pot. Jesus. A watering can has no reason to be that fucking big. Just saying. Last few drawings I've done of my nigga here haven't looked anything like him, but like, now I've actually took some time to actually figure out what the fuck his face looks like. See, he has a weird face. He's hard to draw. And I could commend anybody who can get him right on the first fucking try. Cause he's not, he's not easy to draw. Do I need to make him bigger? Or make the flower pot smaller? I think I'll make him bigger. If you're wondering why the, the can is levitating, it's because that's his power. <laughs> he does psychic shit. It's kind of cool. That's why he's one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite villains. He's like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a fucking hoe for psychic powers. Like, I, I, if I could have any superpowers, it would be psychic shit. That's cool. That's cool as fuck. Honestly, I could, I could fuck myself in the ass with something, and I wouldn't have to use my hands. You ever think of that? I did. Just now. All that fucking time I spent drawing his hands and I'm just gonna cut it off. Oh, damn it. Shit, 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 shit. Come back. Where'd it go? There it is. Now I have to do line art, the most fucking boring part of the uh, of every drawing ever. I hate fucking truck.
looks at me. That can be taken in two different ways, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> What's it with me? It's just spewing profanity in a whisper. I'm such a bitch to inanimate objects that can't help it. Hope you guys have been enjoying this insightful journey with uh, good old echoes here. Hope you guys know that I'm a robot in real life, by the way. Yeah, I'm just I'm just this blue robot bitch who hangs out with humans. You know, I have human friends. I, you know, I don't I don't like hanging out with other robots. <laughs> the fuck am I? What the fuck am I even talking about? I get part done with the liner, and then I'm like, now what do I do? I mean, I mean, if you enjoy watching me doodle, you know, this is like. Similar to what I did with like the drawing characters from memory thing. Uh, if you like seeing me do this, let me know. So I'd be more than happy to draw on camera more. A thing with that. I was thinking of doing it with Tamadachi Life a long time ago, but I never got to. Yeah, I might do. I might start with like GameCube, GameCube, uh, Animal Crossing. That game's unforgiving as fuck. You know, it's it's hard. It's hard to make any bells. You know. Nook upgrades your fucking house without your permission and make and then makes you pay for it. And you know, like the villagers are just take your fucking bells without asking. <laughs> I had that happen to me so many times where I'd be like I go talk to somebody and then they're like, Hey, here's this thing, give me your money and then it's like, nigga, I didn't ask for this. I didn't say you could take my money and give me this thing in return. I don't want this shit. Get back here with my bells, you bastard. <laughs> Why the hell have I been sitting here drawing a fucking villain from Avengers and then talking about Animal Crossing the whole time? What other fucking person in the world does this? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> who the hell does this? I I'm sorry if I sound mad. I'm just I'm just a fucking dumbass. Is what's wrong with me? <laughs> You probably didn't come here listening to me talk about Animal Crossing. You know, clearly I'm drawing- you, you probably wanted to hear me talk about the fucking movie or something, but no, here I am. Going on about Animal Crossing. It's fucking almost 2am and here I am. Drawing fucking Ebondi. <laughs> Ebony Darkness Adventure Raven Way. Here. Fucking watering plants. What the heck? I should use thinner outlines. I just gotta say though, like, why the fuck did, did the vision and that one bitch run off, like, to go be irresponsible rather than, like, get the fucking gem out of his head? Like, it's a fucking infinity stone. Like, that was already dangerous for him to have to begin with. Why didn't they just take it out of his head when, like, they could? It's, clearly, he could live with fucking live without it. It's what they fucking said in the movie. I didn't watch Civil War. So maybe, maybe there that he, they couldn't in that film. I don't fucking know. I didn't get to watch it because none of my friends would go with me. Yeah, I still haven't watched Civil War. All I know about it is like, um, Iron Man, Captain America, you know, they, they split off into gangs and they just have like a big gang war. I wanted to see it really bad. I have a poster for it that my friend got me, but I didn't fucking watch it. So, you know, he bought me the poster. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll go see this movie next week. Never did. <laughs> they should have took that gem out of his head a long fucking time ago. So I don't think they knew Thanos was a threat yet, but but still, there, maybe they did. Because I know a lot of the movies like connect, you know, they all like come into one thing. But of course, I'm too stupid to keep up on all of that. I mean, if anybody knows, if anybody, you know, if you're if you're sitting there pulling your hair out, well, you're probably not doing that. But you know, if you're like, oh, echoes, you fucking idiot. This is why they couldn't get the gem out of his head before. Feel free to let me know, cause like that'd actually be great. I could look it up, but I don't want to do that. It's not like it's not like eating away at me. Like the fact that Tony Stark called Ebony uh, Squidward, even though he doesn't have a nose. <laughs> That's been keeping me up. You know, you know, I'm just like, the hell did he come to that conclusion? Yeah, my man here ain't got a nose. He can't do coke. Yeah, he can't snort coke or anything. That's a shame. Why is everything linked about the cocaine with me? I don't even do coke. 
I haven't even seen Coke in real life. Voldemort could do Coke, but he's got like he's got like them tiny nostrils. He'd probably have to get like one of those like juice pouch straws, the really tiny thin ones, and use that. You know, and it'd probably take him like five minutes to get to get a fucking line done. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, uh, go ahead and draw that for me. Draw uh, Voldemort snorting Coke. You know. <laughs> Maybe he has to put his whole face on the table. He didn't. He can't even use a straw. He's gotta like, gotta put his whole face on the fucking table. That's funny as hell. Oh shit! Did I like use an entirely different fucking color? Oh yeah. I killed myself. K M S K Y S K Y S means keep yourself safe. This one time in art class, you know, this was like with my stupid ass uh, crafts teacher. Yeah, crafts class. Um, my friend, she goes, KYS. And we both start laughing and she's like, what does K KYS? What does KYS mean? And we both laughed and we're like, uh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> but now I know it's keep yourself safe. You hear that? You know, someone tells you to KYS, just, you know, just they're just letting you know. Keep yourself safe. <laughs> you know, you know, if I ever uh, tweet out or you're like, you know, I'm ever I'm like, oh, I'm gonna KMS. Well, just know I'm just keeping myself safe. And I hope all of you KYS. I hope you all keep yourself safe. <laughs> God, God, that is like that could be really taken out of context. Well, I said exactly what I meant right after I said it, so you have to really hate me to take that out of context. So I don't want you to kill yourself, I want you to keep yourself safe. That's what I mean by KYS. I think that's- I think he, he is done. I have the rest of the shit to do. Whole ass potted plant. <laughs> Maybe I should have some water coming out of this. I hear plants need water. I think that might be a rumor though. Some shitty looking water. But it's water nonetheless. <laughs> That's all that truly matters. Doesn't matter what form the water is in. <laughs> As long as it's water. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It has no reason to be. I just gotta say, the headcanon scene on Tumblr is fucking weird as hell. Like, I've seen some fucked up headcanons. And it's like, I don't know how the hell you can go around, like, believing shit that's so ridiculously fucking wrong that's so ridiculously out of canon that it's like unholy. I think my favorite one is the um Drift uh from Transformers uh is like he he was like a, a sex slave, a robot sex slave and then he was a stripper. Where do people come up with this shit? Like how the fuck like <sighs> I just don't get y'all niggas. I just don't fucking get you. Oh, I said the nigga word. I'm probably gonna get, uh, copyright striked. Not copyright striked. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be murdered now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, finish this in the morning. Uh, take it away, future me. Hey, it's future me. It's, uh, like, almost 10 a.m. And we're gonna- we're gonna finish my doodle. Yeah, I had trouble sleeping last night. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the fact that I didn't finish this, just keeping me up. I doubt that. So if you don't know who Thanos is, then get the hell out of here! <laughs> I hate everyone that lives around here. All like ten of us. Not even that. It's like maybe- it's maybe like six of us up here. But no, it's the people fucking driving by since the Harley Davidson store is fucking right down the road. I don't even think they buy anything when they go- I probably said this before, but they don't even fucking buy anything, they just hang out there. 
I suppose it's like how you you know you go to the comic book store to hang out. You don't really. You buy things sometimes. I always buy things if I want to go. But. but see, I'm not everybody. The lighting seems to be a little confused, but that's fine. That's okay. Doesn't fucking matter. Okay, all that matters is that I can finish this. That this is doable. I was thinking about it last night and I was like, I just want him to, you know, pick up a brick. Just a single brick with his, like, psychic powers. Hit me with it. You know? I, I, anywhere, really. And I'd be like, Wow, that's cool, he went out of his way to hit me with a brick. The fuck is the matter with me? I'm not here kink shaming all you motherfuckers for like, wanting his like, tentacle dicks. I say dicks cause he looks like he- He looks- he dead ass looks like some alien monster that would have two dicks. I'm just fucking saying. But you know, here I am kink shaming you for wanting his like, fucking alien dick. And then... And then here I am being like, Yeah, it'd be cool to get hit by a brick. By him specifically. Would be cool, think of it, you know, like... He went out of his way to hit you with that brick. With his powers, too. I think shaming strangers is one of my favorite pastimes, just saying. Yeah, I just want to start a movement, you know, like, I want everybody to know that Ebony has two dicks. Probably. Just fucking I I'm just saying. But I just know these things, you know? It's a little disturbing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine just, like, like, a dude just whipping it out and he has two fucking dicks. That'd be the- that'd be fucking traumatizing. I'm at, you know, see my man's dick for the first time, but it's just- <laughs> There's just two of them. I don't care who you are or what you are. I, I mean, I guess two dicks is good, just in case one quits working. You know, you have that- you have that backup. Pretty sure energy drinks are gonna be the reason why I die. I don't even drink that much. I have like one a day. It's not like I drink it ridiculously fast either. It usually takes me a couple hours to like down a can while I'm working. You know when I'm like recording myself doing drawings and stuff like that, like the calmer the music I listen to, the better my shit turns out. So I, I you know I should I should just make it a trend that I listen to like some you know calmer, slower shit when I draw. Maybe my shit'll always turn out better. That's just me. That's just what I've noticed, you know. Some of my good stuff happens when I'm like, you know, calm, you know? If I'm listening to something really, like, intense, then, like, it looks like shit. Yeah, it kind of, like, it kind of, like, raises my patience a little bit, too, because, like, usually I don't have the patience to do this much shit with a drawing. Yeah, I've been wanting to draw my boy Enobi and Obi for a long time. By a long time, I mean, like, two weeks or so. You know, getting that mind stone is the monster. Getting that time stone, it's really important. You know, it's important Thanos gets that, but you know, a nigga gotta water his plants before he tortures Doctor Strange for a little while. You know, I keep asking myself where did I get the idea for this, but like, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Been thinking about Animal Crossing. Been thinking about that Animal Crossing. You know, what do you do in Animal Crossing? You water plants and shit. That's something you can do. That's not what the whole game's about. But. You, you know what the fuck you know exactly what the fuck I mean. Don't give me that shit. I say to absolutely nobody who's fucking contesting me. Whatever. Nobody who's arguing with me. It's just me arguing with myself. That's what happens when I draw. Just so you fucking know. What I do, I just argue with myself the whole time. Most of the time, actually. It's like, oh, this doesn't look what well, fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. It's like, who's stopping you, bitch? Absolutely nobody. You know, his hair's not this fucking dark, but give me- give me one second. But when I- when I told, uh, when I was at Discord the other day, uh, my boyfriend- my boyfriend's homie and I were talking, uh, cause I- I drew an obby here, and I posted it, I'm like, hey, it's- it's Voldemort. And then that's, you know, when I went on to the- to his tag on Tumblr and I realized people wanna shag this guy. And I'm like, oh my fucking god, guys, people want to fuck this dude. And you know, my, my boyfriend's uh, homie chimes in and he goes, oh my god, people want to fuck Squidward? <laughs> exactly, my dude. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm getting from this. He looks like, he look, more looks like Voldemort to me. You know, if I had to make a joke about his appearance, it'd be Voldemort. It's like, oh hey, Voldemort, have you fucking defeated Harry yet? No? That's what I thought. He looks like he'd paint his nails. 
Make sure they're the blackest of black. He's, he's, he's Ebony Darkest, I'm not sure Raven Maul. That's his name. I think him and, uh, I think Ebony Maul and then Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way should team up. And they should try to stop the Avengers together. I think that that right there is the most ambitious crossover of all time. That'd be pretty good though. I'd be, I'd fucking, if, so, if somebody out there will write that in a fanfiction and spell their names wrong every fucking time, I will read it. This is a fucking shitty ass looking plan. Absolutely not my problem. Well, yes it is actually, because I'm the one who's drawing this. I don't remember if like when he picks shit up it has like a aura around it or anything. I'm gonna make his like, his watering can like an obscenely bright color. Uh, let's make it like bright ass blue. Yeah. Just a weirdly bright color. Like that in contrast with it. I like that. I really like how how this that's vivid and he's all dark and shit. That looks cool. That's really cool. So much drama going on in like the art community on YouTube. Like the like the deviant art like community type thing. You know, I try not to be like uh I try to be like a harmless channel. I try to like you know, I, I don't wanna make my shit boring. But I try to be harmless, if that makes sense. I did talk shit one time, but that's because the bitch talks shit about me, you know? But we already know. I already talked about that. <laughs> I already said everything I need to say about that. But, um... You know, I try to be like a relatively harmless channel. You know, I'm not gonna go out of my way to attack people. But, uh... Yeah, just a lot of fucking drama... ...has been going down with that lately. It's just insane. What a, yeah, DeviantArt Ranter community. That's what it is. Horrible community. I, I hate... I don't hate everybody. And that that's that kind of community. But like... So much fucking shit goes down. I, I almost wanted... I almost fell for that. I almost fucking... You know, if remember in my first video I was like, Oh, I'll do rants and stuff. No! I'm glad I didn't fucking do that. Cause I'd been caught up in this bullshit. Yeah, I don't think I want to do a background. I don't know. Maybe he'll be. I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't do backgrounds. So here's. <laughs> yeah, I think that's. I think that looks good. I think it looks pretty good. I, I hope you enjoyed this because I. I thought this was fun. I thought this was a great time. So. I mean, if you do want to see me do more stuff like this, let me know. Because I think it's fun. <laughs> so, you know, there's my, my DA, my Insta, my Tumblr. And if you want to drop a donation, which is always much obliged. There's a link for that, like Kofi, Kofi, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's there. If you want to slip me a dollar or two, I will see you around.